Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for April 24th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Catch These Fists by Bill Murphy. This is a variant of Killer Sudoku. We have normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 inch row, column, and 3 by 3 box. Ordinarily with Killer we have cages, and there are two things to keep in mind. The digits in the cages must sum to the total, and the digits can't repeat. That second one we do not have in this puzzle. We couldn't make six in four cells without repeats anyway. Um, but it's actually a slightly stronger condition than that. We must have repeats. So this 12, for example, we can repeat digits. So this could be something like, let's say, 2, 2, and 4, 4. That sums to 12. What it can't be is something like this. We have repeated twos, but we don't repeat the five and the three. So that wouldn't work. Because all of these are four cell cages, we're going to have to have exactly two digits, each repeated. And they're going to have to go in a pattern like that, uh, because whatever this digit is can't go in these two cells. So it must go here. Um, those are the rules. And we're going to get started with that six, because it's obviously restricted. The lowest we can have with these rules is one, one, two, two. Um, and that does sum to six, two ones and two twos. So that's what it has to be. The 34 has to be eight and nine. That's the max. And now we're going to think about the rest of these by cutting them in half, because we know all of them have a pair of repeated digits. So if we think about what that means, if these are the same and these are the same, these two must sum to half of whatever the total is. These sum to three, these sum to three. So this 26, these digits must sum to 13. And we have an eight and a nine in the column. In fact, we have an eight and a nine in this column as well. So the highest this can be is six, seven. And that does sum to 26. The six here resolves the order of those. Uh, let's look at the 18 next. This 18 cage can't contain 6, 7, 8, 9. So they're ruled out of all three of these, actually. So the highest here we can have is 5, 4. 5 and 4 sum to 9, so doubling that is 18. All right. Uh, let's look at the 12 next. No, we can look at the 14. 14 works the same as the 18, or oh, the same as the 26 over here. Can't contain 1, 2. So 1, 2 sees all of those cells. So the next lowest we can have is 3, 3, 4, 4. So that works. Let's think about the 12 now, um, since it's pretty restricted. We need two digits summing to 6, and we can't use 4. Uh, we can't. We also can't use two threes, um, even if we didn't have threes looking at this cage, um, because the threes would have to go like this, say, and then we would need two digits that sum to six, but now they can't be threes, because we've already included them, so we can't duplicate them. Um, we don't really need that in this puzzle, but worth mentioning. Um, so we need two digits sum to six. We can't use four. The only other way to do it is five, one, and that order is resolved by that one. That also resolves the four, five down here. All right, what about the 20? The 20 is not quite as restricted yet. Um, this can't be one or two. Uh, and we also can't have four or six in the cage. Uh, let's come back to that. We can resolve the 28 first, I think. Um, this 28, we have some options. Half of 28 is 14, so we could have 5, 9, or we could have 6, 8. However, 5 cannot go in this cage. So we know we must have 6, 8. And additionally, well, we have a 6 here, so we can just resolve it that way. Additionally, we have 8s and 9s looking at some of these cells. And that 8 is going to resolve to 8, 9. And now this is much more restricted. 
Um, these two cells cannot contain 4, 6. They can't contain 2, 8. They can't contain 1, 9. So the only thing left is 3, 7. And the 3, 4 here is going to resolve that. And the 3 will resolve that cage. And the 1 over here resolved the 2s at once. And that's all the cages. And now we're just left with classic Sudoku. So let's see where we want to look next. Um, I can see we're going to need a 4 in these cells. Uh, we need one, two, three, four in these. We've got one, two, we've got a three in the row. So those must go like that. Makes that the four. Makes that two and one. These are five, seven, nine. There's a nine there. Uh, five, seven is not done yet. And these are two, nine, also not done. These are five, seven, eight. So that's the eight, nine there to finish the row. These are one, three, four. Four, three there. Uh, there's four there. This is a two. Uh, this column needs a two and a three. That's resolved. This column needs a five and a nine, which is not resolved yet. Uh, one in this row. We've got a one there, so this must be one. These are two, six, and nine. Not quite. Who's in one of these? Uh, these are two, six, eight, nine. So that is two or eight. Six, eight, nine. I really don't need all these pencil marks, but once I get started, uh, five, seven, eight here. Uh, that is resolved. Five, seven here. And the seven in the column plus five seven. These are nine four. That's not nine. These are seven eight resolve. Eight's gonna go here somewhere. Uh down here, what do we need? We need a six, then we need three and seven. Results five and seven. These are 2, 1. That gives us an 8 here. 5, 9 is now resolved. This is just 5. And these are 2 and 6. 7 and 8 over here. And now this must be the 2. It's going to finish, finish us off if I can type the right digits. So. Neat puzzle. Um, there's a whole lot more you can do with cages like this. Um, bigger cages that need more than just two digits. Um, but a lot of nice variety in how these are solved. Obviously, we have the, the minimums and the maximums, but then we had to think through what digits were eliminated. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you did in the comments. And I will see you next time. I'm actually going to record the next video right now because I'm recording this very late. Um, so I'm going to record today's puzzle.